Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Well, I've been on a bit of a slouch beanie binge and I have some ugly coloured yarn to share with you. So, let's get started. My slouch beanie binge started with Bod Had a Palooza for last week. It was tutorial 763, easy to crochet slouch beanie. 763 is a tutorial on um, Bod at Bago Day's tutorial list. I'll leave it in the description below the link so you can check it out. So I thought, well, why not use more of this baby pastel coloured super saver? Because you needed two colours. And I thought, oh, it goes really well with that green, which is Hobie. Now, depending on how you want to pronounce it, Malaga or Malaga yarn. And they were the two colours I thought I would do. Because I thought they would look good. Well, the actual tutorial was really easy. She says it's for a um, intermediate, but I think a beginner taking their time would be able to do it. But here's my slouch beanie. I made it slightly more slouch than Crystal had. I think I did another set of uh, puff stitches and rows, and I did a bit more on the brim. But there you go, my slouch beanie. I just I think maybe the pastel was a bit pale and I should have used a stronger colour for the bobble stitch. But that was the beginning of my slouch beanie binge. A crochet beanie by Bag O'Day. Um, so, now they're both four weights by the way. The Malaga Malaga is a four weight and so is the Spotlight. But they, they're pretty light four weights, but they were a good match. And they did crochet well together. I'm just not sure I did a good colour choice together. So then I got a bit of a message from my Etsy shop. A lady had been looking at my past sales and she noticed a slouch beanie and she favoured it. And she did ask me if I plan to make any more this year. And it is quite a popular one. I have sold a few of them and I do like making them. It's a knitted beanie. There is a pattern for it. It's a free pattern. It's actually a man's slouch pattern, but it's definitely unisex. Any beanie can be unisex, really. Um, I'll, I don't have it with me. I, what I will do is I'm going to do free pattern Friday for July this week. So I'll have it listed there for you to check out. It's a pattern from Canada. I've just got to find it. Because what's happened over the years is I memorise the pattern, muscle memory, and I change it to get a different look each time. But the actual standard pattern, I'll show you on Free Pattern Friday. So I decided, yes, I would make some for my um, Etsy shop and I would make them different. The one she favourited was in Lime Brand Fisherman's Yarn. From ages ago anyway I I'll put it on the model I started with click Heaton's um, naturals now the ones I've sold have always either been pure wool or a wool blend so click Heaton country national naturals eight ply this is the green I've lost the ball bands to the other, other color that I actually used they only have color numbers and this is actually when I find it, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. well, it's being eight ply or three weight, you use a um, four millimeter crochet hook and a four millimeter knitting needle. There is a beanie pattern on some of the labels if you want one. Um, I keep trying to find because it's not a hundred percent wool, it is dun 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 dun. 85% Australian wool, 10% acrylic, and 5% viscose made in Australia so that's the actual wool band for that color the color I made is a beigey color and I decided I wouldn't make it as slouchy and big as the one she favorited this is mine it's more a little relaxed slouch the one I did was quite big but that's the knitted slouch that I do and I, as I say I change it up every time it's got a two by two rib I made you less in between, but it's just a knitted beanie. And I cast on what I think to fit this particular yarn. It took almost 250 gram balls. So let's say it's 100 grams. 
And yes, that one will be going in my Etsy shop when I take some photos. So then I decided, because I'd been looking through my yarn, I came across this ugly coloured yarn. I bought it when I was learning to do socks because they threw this particular colour out on a very good special and I thought it doesn't really matter for socks, I'll use this yarn. So here's my ugly coloured yarn. Every time I look at it I think ugly and it's called Not Just Socks by Moda Vera. I'll just pause it a moment. Yes, we still have a lot of planes going overhead. So. This Not Just Socks by Motivira is 50% superwash wool, 25% polyamide, 25% bamboo. And the colour is called grey, pink, blue. So there you have it. It's probably looking better on camera than it does in personal person. But every time I looked at it, I couldn't even use it for socks. And they are 100 gram balls with 420 metres. So it's a sock weight, very light sock weight. So, and it takes a 3.25 millimeter knitting needle. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a slouch hat out of this yarn and put it in the Etsy shop. Maybe someone will like it. Some guy or somebody might actually like it. So I'll show you how. The other thing too about it was, I thought, gee, it's not very soft for socks. You know, they could be a little coarse on the feet. So that also put me off using it. But I did pick it up as a bargain. So I decided to do another slouch hat using the same pattern and making it a little different. And here it is. Ta-da! It's a bit slouchier because it's a bigger size. I did a 3 by 2 rib for this one. 3 by 2 I did bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, and I changed it up a bit. But that is my slouch hat in the ugly yarn. Now, the colour still doesn't appeal to me, all the mixes of blues and pinks and greys, but the actual yarn did knit up really soft. And what I did was I held two balls together to get an eight ply. The pattern itself is actually four or four ply, but I like eight ply slouch, so or three weight. So I actually held two balls together and that's what I have left from 200 to 100 gram balls and I have another one. So I might have to use up all this ugly colored yarn and get it out of my yarn stock. So basically they were my slouch hats that I have been on a bit of a binge making. I actually have another one on this needles, but this one is going to be for me. Sorry, I shook the camera. Um, I'm making it in leftovers, and it's for my trip when I go to the UK, especially when I go up to Edinburgh, because apparently it gets quite windy and cold up there, even in summer. So yes, I do have another one on the, on the needles, not the hook. So guys, that is my slouch hat binge with my ugly coloured yarn. Guess you could leave in the comment below which hat you like the best. One, two or three. The crocheted in the green and pastel. Or number two, the beigey naturals. Or three, the ugly hat. But there you go. Let me know what you think. And do you have any ugly coloured yarn in your stash? It actually might knit up better than or crochet up better than you think so there you go thanks for watching until next time i will see you on free pattern friday bye for now